Hello, today we are going to mention how to build large scale machine learning models with Elasticsearch. And we will also implement a facial recognition task in the study. Firstly, we need to install Elasticsearch server and its data visualization dashboard Kibana on those links. Then you should download the required files based on your operating system. For example, I'm going to download Elasticsearch Server and Kibana for Windows. To get your Elasticsearch Server up, you need to go to bin directory and call elasticsearch.bat file. Elasticsearch is up on the 92 w port. Let's try to visit that address. The server welcomes you with this message. Similarly, you need to visit the bin directory under the Kibana folder and call kibana.bat file to get your Kibana server up. Kibana server is up on 5601 port as well. Let's try to visit this address 601. It will redirect you to the Kibana dashboard. The bot Elasticsearch and Kibana servers are running. We finally need to install the Elasticsearch client for Python. We need to uh, call pip install Elasticsearch command to install this client. We then able to import Elasticsearch client. From Elasticsearch import Elasticsearch. We then build our Elasticsearch client. Elasticsearch is going to be Elasticsearch and here we are going to pass the host which was localhost and its port which was 92 00. We then create a Elasticsearch index. Our Elasticsearch client dot indices dot create. This create function expects index name, which is going to be face recognition in my case. Also, we can pass it to the body, and let's set body here. It's going to be a dictionary and its mapping scale we are going to pass a dictionary as well and under mapping scale we are going to pass properties dictionary here we are going to define the data structure for example i'm going to store title name which is going to be the exact image path and it's going to be a dictionary and its type field it's going to be kmart the second field is going to be title vector and it's going to be a dictionary as well its type is going to be dance vector because we are going to store the facial embeddings in this field and here we need to in we need to define its dimensions as well it's going to be 128 which is the output size of the facenet model let's run this block to create index it returns a successful result here we can check that is it created under the dashboard uh, top index management here face recognition index is created and there are no items, there are no docs in this index uh, for now. Now let's process our facial database. We need to import operating system library first. I'm going to walk in the deep face tests and dataset folder. It's going to return root directory and file let's print uh, rdf variables 
those are the files in the specified directory that's why I'm going to build a product again for file in F and let's print files here and I will not print RDF files here those are the uh, exact uh, files in the uh, specified directory here I'm going to check if that jpeg in file because uh, some csv files exist in this directory those are the jpeg files in the mentioned directory and here root uh, or our variable stores the that's exact path I'm going to store those exact image paths in the files list files.append and here I'm going to pass r plus file let's check files those are the image files in my facial database now I need to build my face recognition model to do this task I'm going to import from deepface.base models import facenet model by the way if you want to import deepface then you need to install deepface you can call pip install deepface command to install deepface framework then my model is going to be facenet dot load model we can visualize the build model with model dot summary command as seen it expects 160 times 160 shape inputs this is expected input size and it returns 128 dimensional vectors which we defined in the dimensions of the mapping our shape is 128 now I'm going to build a for loop for image path in my files let's print image paths first I'm going to import from deepface dot commons and import functions here and uh, functions dot preprocess face command uh, will handle face detection and alignment stages of a face recognition pipeline is going to be my image then I'm going to call model dot predict and pass base image here by the way I forgot to mention the target size because as you might remember face and model expects uh, 160 times 160 inputs and this is going to be my embedding for example let's do it for the first item I can uh, show the image here as well import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt I need to import this library here I'm going to call plt dot im show and pass image and then print the embedding it returns an exception because let's print the shape of the input here it returns four dimensional array but its first dimension is dummy that's why I'm going to pass the uh, first item of the image to discard the uh, first dummy dimension as seen this is the detected and aligned image by the way it's in blue because OpenCV reads it in the reverse di uh, direction of the RGB this is the detected and aligned image and this is the embedding I actually need that's first argument to get the 128 uh, dimension results I won't show image and print its embedding as well 
and I'm going to do it for the all images that's why I remove the break line here I'm going to define a doc and it's the Python list remember the fields title name was the first one and it's going to be the image path and the second one is the title vector and here it's going to be the embedding then we are going to call our Elasticsearch client and call its create function and here I'm going to uh, specify the index name which was face recognition create function also expects ID at body fields body is the doc we defined in the previous line and ID is going to be index here I'm going to initialize the index and here I'm going to increase its value running this block uh, to append facial embeddings into the created uh, elastic search index adding facial embeddings into the elastic search index is over let's check it into the kibana dashboard in the dashboard view go to index management and let's see face recognition index has 61 docs and let's check the files length here it was 61 as well it seems that everything is fine in the index adding step now i'm going to read an external image and search it into the elastic search index let's read it target path is going to be target.jpg and target image is going to be i'm copying this line and pass target path instead of image path show target image here plt.im show and target image at zero index value and handle its color problem i'm going to search this image uh, in the elastic search index but notice that this image doesn't exist in my index i'm going to find similar ones similar identities find its embedding target embedding is going to be model.predict and pass target image here and get its zero index value let's see the target embedding find its shape now it's time to search here I'm going to call Elasticsearch client and call its search function and I'm going to pass index and body features here index was face recognition and body is going to be the query I'm going to create this is going to be a dictionary firstly set the number of outputs it's going to be five in other words i will look for the five nearest neighbors of this target item in my elastic search index the second item is going to be query and it's going to be a dictionary as well here we should uh, define script score k and it's going to be a dictionary as well here I'm going to define the script here source is going to be a sign similar to metric calculation and parameters is going to be a dictionary under the prompts I'm going to define query vector and it's going to be the target embedding I will look for this embedding in my elastic search index in the source field I'm going to use cosine uh, similarity here I'm going to pass prompts parameters dot query vector and pass this target embedding to the title vector in the elastic search index here adding 
the value of 1 uh, transforms the cosine similarity to the cosine distance that's why I add here 1 I forgot to add uh, the query k here it should be in the same level of the script under the query I'm going to set match all and this is going to be a empty dictionary and this is going to be my query and I'm going to pass it to the elastic search index let's see the response first I need the head value of the response object and again heads k let's build a for loop in this items and here I need the score value and also source value by the way source field stores the both title name and title vector that's why I need just title name and here I'm going to print source and uh, score first those are the candidate uh, images or nearest neighbors of the target item I can actually draw uh, the source image here I'm going to pass the source and it's going to be my image then I'm going to call pelt.imshof uh, and uh, pass image but uh, I will get at zero index value here I also need to call show and let's add a uh, marker here remember OpenCV reads uh, images in the reverse direction of the RGB that's why I'm going to uh, show images just uh, with this argument uh, those are the uh, nearest neighbors of the target image in my database and uh, remember the target image so we have mentioned how to build a, a large scale machine learning model with elastic search uh, framework and we uh, have implemented a facial recognition task in the study we added 61 items into our elastic search index but we could add millions or billions of uh, documents it could still uh, respond uh, in milliseconds in the search step thank you all for watching and see you next time